Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In the last few video demonstrations, we have seen the migration of Active Directory from earlier version of Windows Server to Windows Server 2019. In those videos, we have seen we can directly migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2008 R2 to Windows Server 2019 or Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2019. But suppose if you have an active directory with Windows Server 2003 environment, that time it is not possible that you can directly migrate Windows Server 2003 active directory to Windows Server 2019. In that case, first you have to migrate your existing active directory from 2003 to 2012 R2 or 2016. Then after you can migrate from 2016 or 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2019. So in this video, we are going to see that how we can migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. For this demonstration, I am using Oracle VirtualBox in that I have created two virtual machines. One is running on Windows Server 2016 Standard Edition and the second one is running on Windows Server 2019. This is our Windows Server 2016 virtual machine. As you can see, computer name is WS2K16-DC. And under domain, you can see malab.local. For this demonstration, I have created one domain active directory forest named malab.local. And in that domain, we have only one domain controller and that is ws2k16-dc. This domain controller currently holds all five FSMO roles as well as this DC is configured as a global catalog server. That means this Windows Server 2016 domain controller is a root domain controller for mylab.local domain. And the IP address which is assigned to this server is 192.168.10.5 uh, with the default subnet mask. Fine, let's verify forest and domain functional level as well. I'm going to click on tools, select active directory, users and computers console. Let's click on mylab.local, right click on it and go for the properties. You can see domain functional level is set to Windows Server 2016 and forest functional level is set to Windows Server 2016. This is the highest domain and forest functional level available in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. Let's click on OK button and let's close this console. Uh, one more thing that I want to show you was uh, domain controllers. So let's again open Active Directory users and computer snapping. And if we double click on domain controllers container, here you can see we have one domain controller that is WS2K16-DC. Let's close this. Uh, I'm going to open a command prompt as well because we are going to check FSMO rule owner. Once you're in NetDOM query FSMO command, it is going to display the current FSMO rule owner. And as you can see, schema master, domain naming master, PTC, RID, and infrastructure master all five FSMO rules are currently assigned to our Windows Server 2016 domain controller. Already we have seen that this server is also configured as a global catalog server. Now for this demonstration, I have Windows Server 2019 data center addition. And as you can see, this computer is currently in a work group. Uh, this computer's IP address is also set to obtain IP address automatically from DHCP. So before we can proceed ahead, we need to assign a static IP address to this computer as well. So let's click on this link. Let's select our Ethernet adapter, right click on it and go for the properties. I'm going to clear Internet Protocol version 6. Let's select IP version 4, click on properties. Select use the following IP address. Preferred DNS server address is the IP address of our Windows Server 2016 domain controller because we have also configured DNS server rule on this domain controller as well. Let's click on OK, close and close this. Now I also want to check uh, network connectivity between both servers and we will check a DNS uh, server. So let's do it. For that I'm going to right click on start button. Let's open Windows PowerShell. Let's ping to our Windows Server 2016 domain controller. And as you can see, we are receiving replay. That means we have a network connectivity between both servers. Also, I'm going to ping to my domain name to check whether our DNS server is able to locate domain controller or not. And then after, as you can see, it is also able to convert the FQDN to IP address as well. 
So we have network connectivity and as well as our DNS server is also responding properly. Let's close this command prompt. And now I'm going to click on manage, click on add roles and features, click on next, select role base or feature base installation, click on next again. And here you can see our local server is selected, click on next. Now we need to select Active Directory Domain Services. Select the checkbox, click on Add Features. We also want to install DNS Server Rule as well. So let's select the checkbox as well. Click on Add Features, click on Next, Next again, Next again, Next, and click on Install. Okay, as you can see, Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server Rule has been installed successfully. Now it's time to promote this server as a domain controller. Let's click on this link. Select add a domain controller to an existing domain. First of all, I'm going to click on this change button to specify the credential. Here we need to specify the credential of our Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Administrator. Once you specify the credential, click on OK button. And here you can see domain is automatically selected to mylab.local because in our Active Directory Forest, we have only one domain and that is mylab.local. If you have multiple domains, that time you can click on the select button and whatever domains you have in your forest, those domains will be listed here. So in this box, you can select your domain where you want to add additional domain controller. Click on next. As already DNS server role is installed on this server, that's why this box is gray out. And we also want to configure this server as a global catalog server. And that's why this checkbox is also selected. If you don't want this server to be a global catalog server, that time you can clear the checkbox. If you have multiple Active Directory sites in your Active Directory forest, that time you can select the appropriate site from this console as well. As of now, we have only one Active Directory site and that is default first site name. Here you need to specify the DSRM password. Once you define the password, then after you, you have to click on this next button. On DNS options page, simply you can uh, close this warning and you can click on the next button. Now here we have options for install from media, means IFM. In the future videos, we'll definitely see how we can promote a domain controller using IFM options. And we also learned that why it is necessary to use IFM in certain cases. Here, specify additional application options. I'm going to select our Windows Server 2016 domain controller because in our domain, we have only one domain controller. If you have multiple domain controller, that time you can select the domain controller from which you want to replicate Active Directory database. Let's click on next. We are not going to change the path of Active Directory database, log files and sysfall. We want to keep it to default. Let's click on next. Here it is telling us that you need to prepare your existing Active Directory to support Windows Server 2019 as a domain controllers. In the past few video demonstration, when we were migrating Active Directory, initially we manually prepare our Active Directory forest by using adprep command. But in this video, I thought let's use the GUI method to prepare Active Directory for us and to upgrade schema using graphical user interface. So let's click on next button to continue. Here you can see the overview information, whatever selection you have made. If you want to change anything, then you can click on the previous button. And if you're happy with your selection, simply you can click on next button. Uh, here, as you can see, all checks has been cleared successfully. Now we can start the installation by clicking on the install button. And once you complete the installation, server will automatically reboot at the end of this operation. Let's click on install. Now here, as you can see, it is upgrading Forest to support Windows Server 2019 as a domain controller. In Windows Server 2016, Active Directory Schema version will be 87. And in Windows Server 2019, Active Directory Schema version will be 88. So there is a not much difference in between those two versions. After restart, let's again log in to our Windows Server 2019 server. Press Ctrl to delete key to unlock the server. Let's specify the password and hit enter key. 
once you log into newly promoted Windows Server 2019 domain controller, the first thing which I'm going to do is open Active Directory, Users and Computer Snap-in. Let's expand my lab local. And if you click on domain controllers container, now you can see we have two domain controllers. One is running on Windows Server 2016 and the second one is running on Windows Server 2019. Let's minimize this console. Let's click on tools. Let's open DNS. As you can see, we have two Active Directory integrated primary DNS zone under our 2019 server. If you click on mylab.local, here you can see we have two name servers in our domain mylab.local. Let's close this console. Now first thing which we are going to check is the replication. So let's check whether our both domain controllers are able to replicate data or not. For that, I'm going to click on tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Once you open Active Directory Sites and Services, you need to expand sites. Under sites, you need to expand default first site name or whatever sites you have chosen for your domain controller. You need to expand servers as well. Now here, you need to select your server, which is uh, WS2K19-DC in my case. Let's click on NTDS settings, right click over here and select all tasks and select check replication topology to refresh Active Directory replication topologies. Fine, here we have a one automatically generated link from our Windows Server 2016 domain controller to Windows Server 2019. Let's select it, right click on it and select replicate now to check a replication now. As you can see, Active Directory Domain Services has replicated the connection between Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. We can check the same thing on our Windows Server 2016 computer as well. Let's click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Expand Sites, expand default first site name, expand Servers, expand your 2016 domain controller, click on it, right click, All Task, check Replication Topology, click on OK, refresh it, select automatically generated link, right click on it and click on Replicate Now. As you can see, Active Directory Domain Service has replicated the connection. So both domain controllers are successfully replicating data between them. Let's close this. Now, the next step is uh, I'm going to transfer FSMO rules from Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. And we also want to remove Windows Server 2016 as a global catalog server as well. So let's do the global catalog thing first. Let's click on Tools. Select Active Directory Sites and Services. Right click on NTDS Settings under WS2K16-DC. Go for the Properties. And you just need to clear the checkbox. Fine. Click on Apply. Click on OK. And done. Let's move to our Windows Server 2019 domain controller. I'm going to right click on Start button as we are going to transfer FSMO rules. Select Windows PowerShell Admin. I'm going to change the font size. Let's select 24. Click on OK. Let's clear the screen. Uh, to transfer FSMO rules, you can use uh, GUI method or CUI method. You can graphically transfer FSMO rules using Active Directory Users and Computer Snap-in. By using that snap-in, you can transfer PDC, RID, and infrastructure master rule. You can use domain.msa console to transfer domain naming master, and you can use Active Directory schema snap-in to transfer schema master rule. But generally, I preferred CUI method, which is very easy to transfer FSMO rules. First, I'm going to run command NTDS util. Press enter key. Now I'm going to type rules. So as you can see, now we are in FSMO maintenance mode. Then I'm going to type command connections, press enter key. Then after we need to connect to the server where you want to transfer the FSMO rule. In our case, it will be at WS2K19-DC. Connect to server WS2K19-DC. Press enter key. 
as you can see we are now connected with ws2k19 hyphen dc using the credential of locally log on user which is domain administrator now we need to type quit or you can simply type q command and here let's take help actually i'm taking help because i'm going to copy the command now let's select transfer infrastructure master let's paste here press enter key and click on yes to transfer it again i'm going to do the same for all other five SMO rules click on yes that will do the job select transfer pdc paste here press enter key click on yes select transfer rid and the last one transfer schema master click on yes and now we simply need to type quit command q again and now i'm going to run command net dom query fsmo but first let's clear the screen as you can see all five fsmo rules are currently assigned to our windows server 2019 domain controller that means we have successfully promoted our windows server 2019 additional domain controller to root domain controller for mylib.local because all five FSMO rules are currently assigned to our Windows Server 2019 domain controller as well as this domain controller is configured as a global catalog server. Now we can safely remove Windows Server 2016 domain controller from our Active Directory mylib.local. But in this video demonstration, I'm not going to cover it. Then simply, I'm not going to demote our Windows Server 2016 domain controller from this malware local domain because according to Microsoft official documentation, now we can use in place upgrade option to upgrade Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. So in the next video demonstration, we will try how we can upgrade Windows Server 2016 domain controller to Windows Server 2019 using in place upgrade options. So that concludes our video demonstration on how to migrate Windows Server 2016 Active Directory to Windows Server 2019. So again, I'm repeating in this video, I'm not covering the steps to demote Windows Server 2016 domain controller from existing Active Directory environment. That's it for this video demonstration. If you have any questions and query related to this video or you have any suggestion for me to improve these videos, you can put those comments and suggestion in a comment section. Thank you all for watching this video.